Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on this video and thanks for tuning in. If you're new around here, my name is Grace and I'm a houseplant enthusiast with too many plants to count. If you're interested in learning about new varieties or care tips, then definitely hit subscribe. I post new videos every week. For today's video, I wanted to share with you my Peperomia collection. Now, I didn't realize how many peperomias I have in my collection until I rounded them up, so I might actually split this into a few parts so this video doesn't go for too long. So without further ado, let's get started. First up is this Peperomia Pink Lady. The large heart-shaped leaves, the variegation pattern, the pink coloration, ah, oh, I just can't get enough. So I got this one from a nursery here in Sydney called Ultra Nursery. I got it for less than $20. It was an absolutely lucky find. I've never seen a Peperomia Pink Lady this size before. It's absolutely massive. There are lots of new baby leaves on the way as well, as you can see here. And some of these baby leaves are a lot pinker than these ones here the large ones. So I'm really excited to watch this grow and yeah, I'll keep you posted on the progress. Next, I've got this little cutie. It's a Peperomia Hope. It's got these really cute round succulent leaves that look like little buttons. So I've been wanting this for over a year now and it's quite hard to come by here in Australia. But I managed to find this one for a pretty decent price and snapped it up. If it's anything like other peperomias, it should be relatively easy to care for. But if you have any care tips for me at all, please leave them down in the comments below. I will greatly appreciate it. Next peperomia is this Peperomia putilata. Peperomia putilata. Parallel peperomia. This one's really interesting. I believe it's called a parallel peperomia because of its growth pattern. As you can see here, the sort of new growth comes out parallel to the one before. The leaves are really thick and cardboard-like and you can tell when it needs a watering if um, you can sort of bend it and it doesn't have much give. So this one here I've had for over a year and a while ago it was growing upright but eventually it does start to trail because the leaves can get a little bit heavy so yeah this is the parallel peperomia next one similar to the parallel peperomia is this peperomia angulata or peperomia diamond i believe this is also known as so it's very similar to the peperomia parallel as I showed before, just that it is a trailer and doesn't really grow upright. The leaves are a little bit smaller and looks a little bit more delicate, but they do get succulent over time as well. For those who are interested to see a comparison between the two, as they often get um, confused, this one here has smaller leaves and the leaves are greener. Whereas this one here has larger leaves and the growth pattern is very clearly different. It's a lot more structural as opposed to this one right here. So side by side, you can really tell this one has more obvious stripes as well as opposed to this one. Next, we have my tiny little Peperomia Piccolo Banda. So this guy is a very common Peperomia, but you might notice that the coloration on mine is slightly different to the ones you might have seen online. And that's because I keep mine on my balcony and it gets quite a lot of sun. So the colors tend to be a little bit faded because of that. So this one's quite a popular Peperomia because of the peacock-like coloration. I might insert a photo on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. It actually has a really nice growth pattern and once it gets large, it looks really pretty. It's gonna take a little bit of time for my little one to grow that big and it probably needs a repot to get to that size. But yeah, we'll see how we go. I do like tiny little plants. I feel like they are more 
space saving and I think this pot looks really nice with it as well so I kind of don't mind if it you know stays in this little pot for now Peperomias prefer to be bottom watered because the stems and leaves are quite prone to root rot so I do tend to water my peperomias from the bottom and I find that it encourages more compact growth. It's growing in a really interesting pattern because it might be leaning towards the light. But I think it's really adorable and I'm a huge fan of these guys. It's even flowering. So that's the Peperomia Piccolo Banda. Speaking of little plants, I have another little Peperomia obtusifolia. I got this from Sydney's plant swap in 2019 and it was a little cutting but it seems to have grown out a lot. The leaves get quite thick and succulent as well but I am a chronic underwaterer and I feel like that's maybe the reason why I quite enjoy peperomias because they don't mind being underwatered but this one definitely needs a drink. If you like green plants that are really fuss free, um, this is definitely one to consider. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and leave me a comment to let me know which one's your favorite so far. If you're interested in seeing part two of this video, then definitely hit subscribe as I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Otherwise, oh my goodness. Lost a leaf. I'm gonna chuck it back in here and see what happens.